Hi, I'm Tony Robbins, uh, also known as Anthony Robbins, the Anthony Robbins Foundation. Um, I just want to reach out to you and thank you for coming to our site right now. I've dedicated the last 33 years of my life to working with people from 100 countries around the world, 4 million people in live seminars, and we've had about 50 million people get our books and tapes. And how this foundation fits in all that is, from the earliest stage of my life, I've always believed that, you know, if we're blessed enough to have an insight, if we're blessed enough to have an economic opportunity, for people that are blessed, even though we've done our part, um, too much, people that much is given, much is really expected, I think. And I think more than that, than what's expected of us, there's an unbelievable gift in life that comes when you can step outside of yourself, no matter what your problems are, and find a way to help somebody else who's got a more challenging time than yourself. And my family was helped at a very early stage in my life in a very unique and special way uh, by being delivered some food at a time when we weren't going to have any food. We wouldn't have starved, I know, but we would have not had a Thanksgiving. It was a pretty special time. And it was, it was a rough, rough, rough patch for our, my life and for our family's life. And somebody who just cared, some stranger who cared, donated that food, and it changed my life. It made me believe that if strangers care about me and my family, I need to care about strangers. And I've dedicated my life to not only working with people that are part of my mission who can afford to go to a program, but at every seminar I do for the last 33 years, I have people there that we scholarship to the program. We have kids that we put in the program. We reach out to make sure we're touching people. And outside of those seminars, we do programs all over the world. So we're real proud of the Anthony Robbins Foundation. We've grown from somebody feeding my family to me at 17 feeding two families and then four and then eight and my friends joining me till now. We're feeding more than two million people a year. And some of our peak years, we've done three million people in more than 35 countries around the world, all between Thanksgiving and Christmas. And if you'd like to know how you can participate with that, it'll be life-changing for you. And we have a little description here, but the essence of it is going and being part of a group that delivers food where you're not the person going to give it, even though you've paid for it, you've collected it. You're really going as the delivery person and you get to see what happens to people when the hope is brought back to life. What happens to people when a stranger totally cares about them? And it's, it's, a, it's a, something that will never leave you. The reason we've grown the way we have is once you do this once, you'll, you'll want to do it again with your family or your friends. You'll want to take a little bit of what you have of your time or your energy or your money and plant that seed in a soul that's desperately in need of some care and some love and, and some inspiration and some hope. And um, so that's one of the programs we do is our basket brigade. Something else that we do is we work in prisons. So there are, we have a, a society here that we have a larger pr prison population than the size of some countries in the world. And as most of us know, people go in there and they become better criminals usually. They don't get a new way of looking at life. They don't get you know, skills or tools that can allow them to navigate their own psychology and emotion and change things. And so we're in about 750 prisons. And if you're interested in that area or helping in that area, you can volunteer, you can learn, you can make a donation, you can do whatever you like. But if we don't take care of those people, they're gonna destroy the structure of society. Those people is our people. And so we at the foundation are really just focused on trying to help people that are forgotten by society. Kids, prisoners, and the elderly, homeless people. That's what we really reach out for. And so whether it be our feeding programs or whether it be our youth leadership programs where we take kids from all over the world, kids that are leaders. Some of their leaders because they're really successful and great in school. Some are leaders because they're tough kids. And we put them together, kids from completely different socioeconomic worlds. And they come together for five days and the changes are unbelievable. And the level of understanding and awareness and aliveness uh, is extraordinary. So you'll see some descriptions. You may see some videos here on the site. I've also tried to contribute something here to you that I know it's tough times for everybody. There's a place here on the site where you can kind of get my view of what do you do right now if you're facing a crisis or someone you care about is facing crisis. What do you do? A little video there for you that you can watch as well. So if you care about kids, if you care about the elderly, if you care about the homeless, if you care about people that are incarcerated and you want to make a better society, um, we're not just looking for you to make a donation. We're grateful if you want to do that. But what we're really looking for is your heart, your interest, your soul, your creativity, a little bit of time, whether it be once in a year coming on a basket brigade with us with your family or your business, or whether it be something you did for a short, short amount of time, once a month, once every month to help somebody. We'll help you. We'll train you in some of the skills that can make a difference to be a, a mentor, a coach, or a friend. Um, but we're looking for people that know that life's not just about me, it's about we. That the secret to living really is giving. And that if you can take just a little bit of your time in the midst of your own difficulties and help somebody who's worse off, the person who gets the greatest gift always is yourself because 
we're made to give, we're made to grow, we're made to contribute beyond ourselves, and that's what makes our life meaningful. So um, that's what the Anthropology Foundation is about. This is a non-scripted, two-second message to tell you that if you're looking for a place where people care, where they share, where there's a passionate commitment to help people, not just donate money, you found the right place, and uh, you may have found a family that you might want to participate in. So let us know if you're interested in being part of a basket brigade or creating one for Thanksgiving, Christmas, or any time of year. Let us know if you're interested in working with kids or bringing a child or sponsoring a child to come to one of our leadership conferences, our youth leadership conference. Let us know if you're interested in helping the prisons or if you want to work with the elderly. We've got programs in all those areas all around the world, and we have youth conflict programs too. In Israel, we have uh, people there working that are putting together the, the clash that's happening in the world today between ideologies, where you have you know, Muslims and Jews and Christians all together playing sports at a very young age and all their parents coming together. So we have a diversity of programs, but the one unifying theme is we want to help people that most society has forgotten. If you care about those people, uh, please join us in our mission to just touch a life or two or 10 or 1,000 or a million or more. Uh, thanks for watching. Live strong and live with passion. God bless to you.